Hello and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? A few days ago, I went on Instagram and asked you guys to send in any questions you may have for me, whether they're funny, sad, random, dumb, or whatever. And you did. So basically, today I am going to be answering your questions. So if that is something you're interested in seeing today, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up right now and keep on watching. Alrighty, so this one actually isn't a question. Question. Somebody just said hi, so hello. Have you been to Mexico? If so, where? So I have been to Mexico. This was during the beginning of my braces process. So before I got my braces, I had to get some teeth extracted. I think I had to get like four teeth taken out. So I went to Tijuana to get that done. It was pretty interesting being in Tijuana because we also hung out there for a little while. I just remember the pain that I was in after I got my teeth extracted. Probably the worst pain I have ever felt in my whole life. So yeah, that's definitely a trip to remember. <laughs> Someone said, why did the chicken cross the road? Well, actually the first question you should be asking is who let out the chicken? This next one says, what is your high school memory? Are we talking about a favorite? or that's all I got. Honestly, I don't really remember much from high school. Like once anxiety became a part of my life, I've become a very like forgetful person. So I don't, it's hard for me to remember much of high school. One thing I can remember is lunchtime with the group of friends that I had. Lunch was always just the best with them. Every single day at lunch, it was nothing but like laughs and like jokes and just really good time. So I think that might be one. <laughs> it was lunch with my friends. Why do you look like Selena kinda? I do. Well, first of all, thank you for that compliment. And uh, second, I can't really answer that question because I don't think I do look like Selena. <laughs> But thanks. How many relationships have you been in? <laughs> okay, so this is kind of a complicated answer because, well, I've actually been in one actual relationship, but I also did like a little bit of dating when I was in high school. But to me, that's just like a school thing, kind of something that just stood in school because it never carried on afterwards and I don't really speak to those people anymore. But Yes, I've only been in one relationship and that one I do consider to be an actual relationship because this person came around my family and we would hang out a lot, we would go on little dates and it carried out until after high school. So yeah, I'll consider that one a relationship. I am not in a relationship anymore, but we did stay as really good friends. So there's the answer, <laughs> just one relationship. Who inspires you the most? My parents. Something you want to learn to cook but haven't tried. Okay, so let me just start by saying I am on Tasty Foods almost all the time. Either when I'm like scrolling through Facebook and their videos pop up or on the actual app. I am just like scrolling through everything and just watching all of these different foods and desserts and stuff. I'm not really a kitchen person. Like, I'm not really into like cooking, but more into baking. I did find some things that I was like, ooh, that should be pretty cool to make and it would taste so good. And one of those things, well, there's actually a few things that I would like to try to attempt to cook slash bake. So the first one is a one pan honey garlic chicken. For some reason, it sounds so good to me. These are the options that I have been looking at. So this is the honey garlic chicken. And then they also have this like s'mores pan kind of dessert thing. One thing that I'm very curious to make is the three ingredient chocolate strawberry braid. That thing looks so good. Hi, Lanana Petite. How are you? I am good. Thank you. I know I gave you guys a mental health update telling you guys how I was kind of like all over the place and wasn't really feeling all my best because of this whole lockdown situation. But days have been brighter and my mood has been lifted a little bit. Sleeping has been interesting. I have good days and bad days when it comes to that. Lately, they've been on the bad side, but uh, we're trying. But other than that, I've been pretty good. Pretty motivated to film and to get ready for the day, to make my bed all that so we're doing good right now we are doing great okay so this person did want to be mentioned their username is b underscore z lot underscore i think that's how you say it 
but they said, would you rather be an extra in a really good movie or have a big part in a really bad movie? Probably have a big role in a terrible movie because that would initiate attention towards me for like another movie and it would kind of like boost me up to better movies. I mean, big part in a bad movie, why not? Because <laughs> if I'm an extra in a really good movie, no one's gonna pay attention to the extra, so. Alrighty, so to end today's video, the final question is do you believe in a girl going after a guy after he left her? I am going to take it like this is a scenario where the girl messed up and the guy decided he was going to walk away and move on. So if the girl did something wrong that the guy was like, you know what, I'm out of here, I cannot deal with this, then I'd say if you know you messed up and you really want to be with this person, then go ahead, take the shot, but if things don't turn out the way you expect them to, then move on, you know? Live your life, focus on yourself, do better for yourself. Obviously, you can have that moment to cry or feel sad or heartbroken or whatever, but after you have that moment, then you can focus on doing better for yourself, taking really good care of yourself, correcting whatever it was that you did wrong. I don't know, journal, spend time in nature, hang out with friends, do something to just bring your mood up, work out, I don't know, take care of yourself, your health, and just simply move on, you know? This person obviously didn't want to continue on with you and that's totally fine because in life, not everything is going to be the way you want it to be. And that's something that I think we all need to realize because if not, and we're just expecting everything to be rainbows and sunshine and everything we want it to be, then we're just gonna get disappointed in the end. So you can take the shot. If not, then just let things be and move on with your life. I don't know if that answer helped the question. I have never had an experience like that, so in order to answer this question, I kind of try to put myself into that situation and get into like the whole feelings and things like that. If it helped answer the question, great. If not, I am sorry. But that is going to conclude today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Also want to thank you for putting in your questions. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see another Q&A video in the future, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below any other videos you would like to see me do. Make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when I post my videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. And also so you guys don't miss out on opportunities with videos like this. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!